Welcome to the world of probiotic foods. This is Cultured Food Life with your host, Donna Schwenk. Welcome, everybody, and thanks for joining me. I want to talk to you about something that I've been doing for years and something that I've really enjoyed. And you can do it in the summertime, you can do it in the winter, um, but it's it's a very it's very similar to fermenting. But it's called sprouting, and we're going to be talking about sprouting your own greens. So fermenting, sprouting, and soaking are all ways that I enhance my food. These are the heroes that help me stay healthy in spite of all that seems to tell me that I should fear aging and disease that could come my way. I believe so firmly in wellness that nobody can convince me otherwise, and You know, it's so interesting to me because I believe that we have a contract with food in this life. And I want to tell you that nothing is more powerful than food. Every meal is a time to start anew. Every single meal that you start is a time to change your body by flooding it with nutrients. And I wish with all my heart that people would talk more about the miraculous creation that your body is and how wonderful it is. And the exciting thing is that we get to co-create with it and supply it with all the things that it needs and that it helps us carry things on throughout our day. All my blogs, podcasts, and books are just about how I do this every day. And hopefully I can help you do it too because my heartfelt desire is to make this easy for you. That's what everything that I do is because I know if, if you don't, if I don't do that, you won't do it. And that's what this article and this podcast is, is about is Another technique that has added health benefits that are so worth understanding and implementing into your life. Okay, so here we go. Sprouting seeds is similar to fermentation. Okay, for instance, when you ferment your food, you increase the nutrient content and you add more vitamins and minerals to it. So let's say you have, you know, a cup of cabbage. That has about 60 milligrams of vitamin C. When you ferment it, you get 700 milligrams per cup. And you heard that right. That is true. It is a huge increase, and it's one of the many reasons that I love fermentation. But the same type of thing can occur when you're soaking grains, nuts, and seeds, and also when you sprout those seeds. Sprouting seeds make certain nutrients easier to absorb than the foods that are there in their non-sprouted form. And I have a chart on how to soak all your beans, nuts, seeds, and grains. And I'm going to link that in the description below because that's a really interesting one too. But this podcast is about sprouting your greens in a jar. Okay, so I'm going to tell you seven reasons you need to, to eat these or sprout these um, greens and eat them. So first of all, let me tell you, what are sprouts? Sprouts are very young, tiny little plants that are harvested just a few days after they germinate. Sprouting is a natural process by which seeds or spores germinate and put out their shoots while on their way to becoming full-grown plants. The body can readily absorb vitamins and minerals like calcium, magnesium, iron, copper, and zinc better when nutrients come from a sprouted seed, bean, or nut. This is because phytoacid acid bound to those nutrients makes them difficult to absorb, will then become neutralized. So you've probably seen the little green sprouts at health food stores and grocery stores, and they're kind of expensive. And for the little amount you receive, I think it's five or six dollars for just a little thing of them. And they don't last very long. And these little sprouts are such a powerhouse of nutrition, um, even more so than the larger plants, their counterparts. Um, and they're so easy to make. And they're worth it. And I can show you how, and I can show you how to do it really easy. So sprouts have a lot more vitamins and minerals. They are rich in a number of important vitamins and minerals because you're catching the sprouts during the germinating process and which breaks down some of the starch, which also makes the percentage of nutrients higher. While the specific ratio of nutrients varies depending on the type of sprout, they generally contain high levels of B vitamins, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, iron, vitamin C, and K, and vitamin K, which is really important. They have higher amounts of these nutrients than their fully grown versions of the same plants and sometimes 100 fold. So somebody asked me the other day, we were talking about it, which kind of spurred my idea to write an article about this and uh, to do a podcast. And they asked me how long it took to grow them. And most of the time they grow within less than a week. Some grow in four days. It just depends on which seeds you're sprouting. 
Um, but every day your sprouts will grow a little bit more until they have filled your jar or filled half your jar, depending on which seeds you use. And towards the end of the sprouting, they will start to turn bright green. This can take anywhere from three to five days. Then they're ready to consume and you can place them in the fridge. And it's kind of cool. You put them near a, a sunny window and they get a little bit of sun and so then they turn bright green. Now, sprouts have a, a lot of um, health benefits and one of them is that they may help with cholesterol. They have a special fat that helps your heart. Sprouts have omega-3 fatty acids, which help in boosting good cholesterol levels, or your HDLs, and it reduces the amount of harmful cholesterol in your blood vessels and arteries. Omega-3 fatty acids are very important for your heart health and for reducing inflammation in the body. They're, it's a powerhouse at doing that. Omega-3s have anti-inflammatory properties that help in reducing the excess stress on your cardiovascular system, and they also have lots of potassium, which helps to reduce blood pressure levels further by reducing any cardiovascular problems. Another thing that sprouts help with is digestion. Eating sprouts may help your digestive health, and actually I think they are something that if you have them a lot, they help you digest the other foods you eat with them. Sprouting seeds will significantly increase the amount of fiber that you're getting in your diet. And much of the fiber that you get is insoluble fiber, which means it doesn't really dissolve in the stomach and it adds bulk to your stools, and then there's soluble fiber, which becomes food for your microbes. The fiber also helps food pass through the GI tract smoothly. And that extra enzymes that are loaded in sprouts, in the raw sprouts, help break down your food more efficiently, making sprouts a great digestion-friendly addition to your diet. Anytime you have any kind of enzymes in your food, and mostly that's only in raw foods, um, it helps you to digest your foods. All fermented foods do that too. They're loaded with enzymes. Um, that your body needs to break these foods down. And since they're kind of pre-digested, um, the body really doesn't have to do a lot of work with it. It's already kind of broken down. And so it's a lot easier in your digestive tract. Now, here's another thing that is really interesting. Sprouts may help with hormones and cancer. Um, one of the interesting things that's in broccoli sprouts is, is sulforaphane, and it's a natural plant compound. It helps balance healthy estrogen levels in the body, and many crucifix vegetables have this and contain it. It's an indole 3 carbon oil, a chemical that has many anti-estrogen effects. But the cool thing is it doesn't only help with that, it also helps with reducing things like PMS symptom, symptoms and menopause sympt symptoms there, you know, both of those can be very devastating to the to people when they're experiencing a lot of different types of hormonal symptoms that make make things hard on you. And they even protect against um, some of the uh, inflammation that's caused throughout your these hormonal times during your during your life and during your cycles. But they also can protect against cancer, especially broccoli, and especially broccoli sprouts. It's connected to the hormone balance by how the body breaks down estrogen. So in other words, broccoli sprouts help protect the body against cancer by reducing the spread of cancerous cells and supporting the body by eliminating harmful substances. Researcher Teresa Shepariro added, broccoli sprouts are about 50 times more powerful in cancer prevention than their mature counterparts. And so instead of um, just eating regular broccoli, broccoli sprouts have 50 times more potential to prevent cancer than the big, huge broccoli. Not that that's not good for you, because it is. Now, another thing that sprouts can do is they can help with insulin resistance. And those struggling with insulin resistance, sprouts may be a helpful addition to your diet. Researchers studied, I think it was like 63 patients with type 2 diabetes who consumed broccoli sprouts or they consumed a placebo. And they found that those who ate sprouts had a significant improvement in their insulin resistance after four weeks. Insulin resistance is a really big factor in type 2 diabetes where the response to insulin can help improve blood glucose. And I think greens in general are just a great thing to add to your diet and always help you with insulin and blood sugar issues. They help balance everything out. Sprouts just give you more bang for your buck and you need smaller amounts of these sprouts to create big changes in your in your body. So if you want to make some sprouts, all you need is a jar and then some sprouts. Um, 
you can get seeds. I sell them now because I was, I really, really want you to make this. And so um, I got some for a wholesale cost so that I could start selling them to people so they'd make them. So you need a planning jar, a sprouting lid, and I have these little special sprouting lids that allows you to just put it on any quart jar. And you're going to need to rinse your sprouts a couple times a day with water. And this lid, you just stick it on there and, and it strains all the water out. Um, and if you don't want a sprouting lid, you can use a, a rubber band and some cheesecloth. And that works good too. Um, and I have some for sale, but you can get these at many online places. You don't have to buy them from me. And um, I kind of have gone berserk after I started getting some because now I want to make my own blends because I found some other things that aren't included in some of the seeds that I'm selling that I want to make a different blend that I think you'll really like. So we're working on that. And these seeds last a really, really long time before you sprout them. So it's kind of nice. You can, you know, you use like you basically what you do is you take a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon or two tablespoons is what I usually do. And I put it in a jar and then you soak them in water for like six to eight hours. And then you strain the water off. You put that little special um, lid that has holes in it. You turn the jar upside down. You, you get the water out. And then you kind of put them in a bowl so they're kind of slanted so the water can keep draining out. And every day you rinse them a couple times a day. And within two days, you'll see the sprouts. And sometimes they'll be done in four days. It depends on which seeds you're using. And they'll just keep growing in your jar till you have a whole jar of sprouts or half a jar of sprouts, depending on how much seeds you put in. And every day you get to kind of watch them grow. And then towards the end, when they start to get big, they start to turn green. And uh, you can just stick them in your fridge, put a regular lid on, stick them in your fridge. And oh my gosh, they're so good on sandwiches, on salads. I made, what did I make? Oh, I made curry last night. And I just put them on top of the curry because I didn't think there was enough vegetables in the curry. And so I just put them on top of that. I've, I've even done them on other soups. Um, I put them on everything because they're just, it's a great way to get greens in your diet. And the more greens you have, um, the more it helps your body because the less inflammation you have, um, the more it helps control your blood sugar, the more it helps control inflammation. And they just taste, I love them. They taste great. And I sell three different blends. I sell a deli sandwich blend and hang on, let me see. I want to see exactly what's in the deli sandwich blend. Now the deli sandwich blend, um, I have a sweet green blend and a vegan protein uh, blend. Each one of them does different things. Now the deli sandwich has clover, radish, and mustard seeds. Those are fantastic. The sweet greens blends, which it seems to be the most popular, is broccoli, radish, alfalfa, and clover seeds. And then this vegan protein is green peas, um, garbanzo beans, mung beans, and azuki beans. Um, and those are really, those are super fun because they're, they're beans basically that have just been sprouted. Those, I think those sprout the fastest. I think it's in a couple, two to four days, I think for those. The sweet greens, I think take a little longer. They take six days or seven days. It just depends on your, uh, how warm your house is. And then the deli sandwich, I think they're done in four or five days. And I have recipes for all of these. And you don't have to use these blends. You can get whatever blends you want. You can get them different places. I'm trying to get a bunch of different types. I want to get some uh, onion ones. We've got some lentils. Now, these lentils are interesting because some of the lentils won't sprout and some of them do. And so um, I'm going to try to get some more blends just because, guys, this is such a good way. Like if somebody doesn't want to eat a salad, just putting some of these on on your food is going to really, really help you get the greens in your diet. But not only that, this is a great way to do it in the winter too, is if you have a jar and some seeds, you're going to have like these fresh little, tiny little sprouts in the winter that are so good for you, um, that are going to really boost the nutrients in your food. Um, Because it's hard to get good greens that are fresh like that in the winter if you live in a cold area. And um, I love all the different types of blends. Um, And it's fun to sprout them and it's fun to see them on the counter. And I have step-by-step instructions with step-by-step pictures so you can see exactly what's going to happen, what you're going to get. It's really fun. And um, I hope this helps you. This is another addition to fermentation that I think is just fantastic for the body. I think it will add so many benefits to your life um, because of all the different nutrients you get. 
For instance, um, on the deli sandwich one, you have the clover, radish, and mustard seeds. And let's see. On the clover, radish, and mustard seeds, um, there's just everything has got different uh, benefits to it. And on this one, hang on, it says these are dense with protein, fiber, folate, calcium, and iron. They've been these have been very helpful with diabetes, blood sugar issues, and not only that, they stimulate healthy hair growth. They help to relieve congestion, clear out sinuses, boost your immune system. And I like them. They have a little bit of a kick to them. The taste is a little tiny bit spicy. And um, the radish has a little spicy taste to it. And it works really great on sandwiches. Now, the sweet green blend. Hang on. This one has the broccoli sprouts in it, which is helpful with hormone balance. And it also helps protect the body against uh, cancerous cells spreading. It helps to eliminate harmful substances. It's a basically like a very powerful detoxer. Um, and it only takes a few minutes to make these. They grow really quickly. And one of the interesting things is in the 18th century, the sea captains employed them to prevent scurvy on long passages. So uh, that's another interesting thing. So these have been around for a long time. People have been doing this. Now, the vegan protein, which is all the beans that they're, the green peas, the garbanzo, and the mung beans, and the zuki beans, um, these all have, um, they have very few calories in them, but they also have a lot of free amino acids for people who don't get enough protein in their diet. And antioxidants, um, they have a lot more antioxidants than unspreaded ones. So if you're just eating beans um, like that aren't sprouted, you won't get as many of the proteins and the antioxidants that you would if you sprout them. Um, mung beans contain very healthy antioxidants, including vanillic acid, flavonoids, caffic acid, cinnamic acid, and so many more. And those really help with not only allowing you to absorb more protein in your diet, but they also have um, anti-inflammatory properties, but they also have the, body, the ability to um, increase the nutrient contents in your foods versus just eating like, say, for instance, chickpeas. If you just eat them unsprouted, um, they, they grow like, I think it's 25 times what they would get in regular chickpeas. So um, they're kind of a crisp, refreshing thing when you sprout them. Um, I also, these are the ones that I put on my curry and I really, really like them. Um, sometimes I'll add them if we had, we had rice the other night. We, I had made um, beef and broccoli, I think is what I made. And I mixed some of these into my rice. I had made some saffron rice and I mixed it into it. And they were really good because they were just slightly crunchy, not too much, but just enough that everybody really, really liked it. And they were getting a lot more protein and a lot more nutrients than they would if I hadn't made them. They have tremendous health benefits. I could go on and on about the health benefits of all these different beans. And um, th that's what's so cool is each food can give you things that you don't have or are missing in your diet. And so I have all these different blends. And I'm going to make some more blends just because it's really fun for me because I do it all the time. My daughter loves to do it. We love to grow things. It's fun. And especially in the winter you know, it's fun to grow things when everything's kind of chilly outside and you got these fresh green sprouts on your counter. And guys, they're so good on a sandwich. Oh my gosh, I love them. Sometimes I'll just take um, some sprouts. I'll put a little bit of pesto. Um, I put an avocado, uh, especially in the summertime, homegrown tomatoes, which I, those heirloom tomatoes, I'm kind of addicted to them right now. A bunch of sprouts and I'll put some real good raw milk cheese on there. It's the best. And a little bit of cucumber. Oh my gosh, it makes the best sandwich ever. Um, I, I do that a lot. And it uh, I just made chicken salad for lunch today. I have uh, in my lunch ebook, if you're a member, you can get my lunch ebook. And um, I put, it was chicken salad. And I stuffed a bunch of, of um, fresh sprouts in my chicken sandwich. It's called Trilogy Chicken Salad. So it has kiva kombucha and cultured vegetables in this chill chicken salad. And it is so good. I just eat it by a spoonful. It's so good. But I put sprouts on it, and it was even better. So um, those are just, I could talk about this all day. I love it. So I just think it's a fun way to do it. There's a lot of other ways to do it, too. A lot of people are doing the microgreens and little trays. Those are super fun. But I thought this was easier because probably everybody has a quart glass jar. And all you need is a lid, or you can even use, you know, like, um, 
butter muslin and a rubber band if you don't have a lid. So, um, and I sell them. They're pretty cheap, like four bucks or something. And, um, but then you can use it all the time to make your sprouts and you get a bag of seeds and you'll, I think each, some of these bags make 14 cups of sprouts. I think the beans make less, but I think the sprouts, um, each of the other two blends, they make quite a bit. So, because you get a whole big jar of seeds. So one or two tablespoons could almost fill up your quart jar of seeds. So that's really exciting to me. Anyway, I just thought I'd share with you stuff that I do. So hopefully that will help you to enhance your life, make it easy for you, make it fun for you. It's a great project for kids. Um, it's a great project for anybody. But this way you get in healthy things and you only need a few and it works great. So thanks for listening to me ramble on about sprouted greens. I just, I love them. I love them like I love fermented foods. So uh, take a peek, look at some of the recipes, try them out and see how easy it is and, and shoot me an email if you do. And I'll put the link description below so you can see all the recipes, you can see all the sprouts um, and all the information that I just talked about so you can make your own. Thanks for listening, guys. Have a great week and we'll see you next time.